hi welcome to my channel it's a girl bidian thank you for stopping by if this is the first time bumping into this video kindly subscribe to my channel it's free of charge right you don't pay any penny it's just free right so please kindly subscribe to my channel so you can get notification of of any new content and also like my video and send a comment if you like anything or if there's anything you want me to share or you're open for and you want to see my videos kind of like send me a comment and i'll surely reply you so um to today's tutorial is we're in the the third part three of our wig making so okay so this is the part three of our wig making and um we've done how to um how to rule your mesh cap how to double your wefts so now we're gonna start up with the wig making proper so i'm this tutorial is for mash um you see sewing machine wig making if you want somebody that has a sewing machine and you're confused and you don't know what to do this video is actually for you so just follow me as i you know go and um i'm sure you will learn one or two things i'm going to show you i'm going to give you the tricks don't worry it's all about the tricks the techniques and all that right so let's get into it baby i want to be sure you're seeing what i'm doing so this is actually what I'm doing on the day in case you can't get figure it out. This is what I'm doing. Placing it like this. Did you see? Placing the first line. So this is for you if you're using if you're learning how to use um machine for your wig. I'm gonna do another tutorial that will show you how to stitch. But this is for those that like that wants to start using the machine. So Okay, so I just want you to know something. There's a trick here you have to understand, right? When you're sewing, you don't need to pull this the lace. Don't pull. Don't pull the lace. Don't push the lace. Just let it run, right? You just want to place all your own. All you. All you. All you all about is the you know the line you created you just want to make sure the i like to put the line outside right you just make sure it's sewing between the air and the line okay so what you want to do this is a technique i would like to show you what you want to do is you don't pull pull the the mesh cap you don't pull or drag or push you just allow it to roll right just allow it to roll all you want to do is just try to use your end to protect you know this is the line you're working with so that should be your power routine don't touch this you don't need to touch it don't drag it and don't don't push it so let it just roll with the air right so from the beginning you want to use your reverse the reverse to, for, so that the air doesn't shed right so this is just what you want to do just let it roll right and what one thing you want to do is you make sure the the weft is between is in the center this center the center of the needle right let's let the tip of your air be in the center of the needle mind you when you did your needle position you put it in the middle so that is what is going to appear here so that's the trick 
this this um needle position yeah this needle uh needle position you put it in the middle so that is why when you get to this place you want to put your weft in the middle while you're sewing and you just let it run right that's just the technique there don't pull your your mesh cap or your dome cap just let it run the only thing you want to do is control the line that you have already drawn that you make sure your the weft is now going out of the line so that should just be what you're after so i hope i make sense then when you get to the ending of every um before you cut the weft what you want to do you want to there's a um, there's a roll by the side of your machine you want to roll and bring it out that is like nothing you not the the trait before you take it out so you see if you look at this look at what's happening here there's a knot here i don't know if you get me but something is happening here which is like a knot so this is going to help you to knot the trait I'm not supposed to do that but you know when you bring it out and when you cut it it's going to knot itself automatically anyway so that's the logic there so for my weft I cut my weft at the end because I don't want bumpy wigs I don't like it so I cut it then you want to go again so I might not say anything anymore so just watch me the way I you see this i don't even need to cut it anymore because i place it well and it's not going to bother the it's not going to pull up So when you have like a squeeze, skew, uh, squeeze uh, don't bother about it. As your sewing is going to find its way to smoothen it. You just don't pull and don't push. All you want to do is just try to like open it up. You know, if it's squeezed like this, you don't want to run the thread on it anyway. You just want to make sure you open it up. So that's just why you're sewing it. So that's just the logic you want to have a smooth sewing but you are not actually you're not actually pulling or pushing the air right so you're just opening it opening it up so that it doesn't squeeze like you see it's squeezing it's natural it's normal so it's your job to make sure it doesn't squeeze so and make sure your your weft is in between so just let it run okay? that's what i'm doing just let it run
So as you can see, so far, so good. See? So when you get to the stock, you see, I'm trying to, all my fingers are working right now, just to get the lay. Though I'm not, I'm not pushing, but I'm just trying to lay it, right? So that's what you want to do when you get to the top. The other thing you want to hold firm is the air. Make sure the air, you hold it firm, so I don't um give you don't, don't have excess going inside All three bundles is inside. So I need, to, need you to see how. How late it is on the top. Yeah. I'll be sure everything is laid. I need to hold up this. Let me see what I can do here. Just want to show that place, especially the last. Um, the last one is laying so flat. So that's the beauty of the whole thing. So the next thing we're going to do is to fix the closure. Then we are done. So thank you for watching.